Hi, my name is Amar. In this video, I will talk about get dot put, get dot lazy put, get dot create, and get dot put async. Okay. Now here in the main dot dart file, as you can see, what I have done here, there is a main method. The main method is calling the run app method, and in the run app method, I am calling a widget named as my app. This my app is extending the stateless widget. In the build method, what I have done, I have created the instance of the my controller class. Let me uncomment this. Here I am creating the instance of the my controller class, and to create the instance, I have written get dot put my controller, and it has an attribute which is called as the permanent. Its value is true. By default, it is false. Now, what permanent will do? We know that whenever the controller is unused, it will be automatically removed from the memory by getx. But if you made the permanent attribute true, then this will be available throughout the app. Okay? It takes one more attribute which is called as the tag. Okay? Here in the tag, I am writing instance one. It, you can provide any name as per your choice. Now, if you provide instance tag attribute here then at the time of calling this my controller instance we can find it by using this tag name as well now how to find that portion i will discuss later on okay now here in this particular statement what i am doing i am just creating the instance of the my controller but i am not using the my controller instance anywhere in my application as you can see let me comment this as well i am not using the my instance sorry i am not using the my controller instance anywhere okay now if i do a hard refresh and if i show you the output then you will see the message get material controller has been initialized and it is printing my controller instance one has been initialized this means we are not using the my controller instance but merely writing this statement will will initialize the my controller and will allocate the memory for it okay now here let me tell you one more thing as you can see here my controller instance one has been written why because here i have used the tag property if i remove this and if i do a hard refresh here then you will see that my controller has been initialized is printed this means if you are writing this statement this statement will initialize the my controller and will allocate the memory whether you are using it or not okay now here i have used the tag right if you want to find this my controller instance with the help of this tag then we can write let me uncomment this here we can write get dot find of my controller tag after that you can provide the tag name okay so we can find the my controller instance by using the tag name right now there is one more method which is called as the get dot lazy put okay now if you are using get dot lazy put then when you are writing this particular statement then this will not initialize the my controller this means memory will not be allocated for the my controller when the memory will be allocated whenever you are trying to access the my controller instance at that time only the memory will be initialized okay here let me show you by an example here i will uncomment this i will do a hard refresh go to the run tab and you will see only get material controller has been initialized but my controller is not initialized because here i have created the instance but i have not used it now whenever i will click on this particular button now clicking on the button what it will do it will use the my controller instance and whenever i will click here at that time you will see the lazy instance my controller has been created my controller has been initialized this means whenever you are trying to access the my controller instance at that time only memory will be allocated that is the difference between get dot put and get dot lazy put okay now here this let me discuss one more thing here it takes tag also which i discussed in my get dot put here you can specify the tag and here it takes one more attribute which is called as the phoenix by default it is false you can make it true now what this phoenix will do as you can see here i have written the note phoenix is similar to permanent the difference is that the instance is discarded when is not being used but when it is 
use is needed again get will recreate the instance okay that is the difference between phoenix and permanent okay now there is one more method which is called as the get dot create okay now if you are using get dot create then by default here permanent will be true this means this instance will be available throughout the app okay and here the is singleton will be false let me tell you one more thing in this approach that is get dot put and get dot lazy put the is singleton is true this means only one instance will be created throughout the app but if you are using get dot create then is singleton will be false this means multiple instances will be created right that is the difference between get dot create get dot put and get dot lazy put right now there is one more method which is called as the get dot put async okay if you want to perform some asynchronous operation then we can use get dot put async now here you can see in the get dot put async of type my controller now here i have written async and await because i am performing asynchronous operation and here i have specified the type okay now in the my controller what i have done i have created a method named as increment counter it is decorated as async because it will perform asynchronous operation here i have used the shared preferences now to use this shared preferences class in the pubspec.yaml file you can see i have taken the shared preference library okay and here i am creating the instance of the shared preference okay after that i am trying to read the value of counter from the shared preference instance now by default for the first time it will not get counter as a result it will be null and whenever it will be null by default it counter will have the value as zero and after that with that value one will be added okay after that it will print praised dollar counter times means it will print praised one times praised two times and so on and after that here i have written prefs dot set in this means i am setting the value of counter to the shared preference okay now let me move to the main dot dart file in the main dot dart file in the on praised method i am calling the increment counter method by using get dot find of my controller okay now let me do a hard refresh let me move to the run tab let me show you the output now if i click here then you will see it is printed praised nine times why it is printing nine times because i have already run the project and i have clicked the button that value is stored in the set preference that's why it is printing nine times okay if i click here again then you will see 10 times 11 times 12 times 13 times and so on okay this is the entire code for my controller and this is the code for main dot dart with the notes i hope you have liked my video if you have liked my video please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching